Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a crucial question for anyone working with Azure. Our viewer asks, how can we restrict access to our internal APIs by allowing only a specific range of IP addresses through an application gateway? Let's dive into this important topic and explore the best ways to enhance security for your applications. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you get through that resolution. So, let's continue on. To restrict access to your APIs through the Azure Application Gateway, you can use the IP address filtering feature. This allows you to specify which IP addresses or ranges are permitted to access your services. First, navigate to your application gateway in the Azure portal. Under the Settings section, find Access Restrictions. Here, you can define rules for allowed IP addresses. Next, click on Add Access Restriction. You will need to provide a name for the rule, specify the action as Allow, and enter the IP address or range you wish to permit. After configuring the access restrictions, make sure to save your changes. This will ensure that only the specified IP addresses can access your APIs through the application gateway. Finally, test your configuration by attempting to access the API from an allowed IP and a blocked IP. This will verify that your restrictions are working as intended. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Yes, network security groups are supported on the application gateway subnet. However, remember to allow port 65503 to 65534 for back-end health checks. To restrict IPs, create a network security group on the subnet. Think of it as a firewall that controls traffic. For more details, check the official Azure documentation on network security groups. I hope that video helped find the resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a great one. See ya.